revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. Angel Tessie, Eric Raymer, hanging out with you today. Thank you for tuning in. Listener Diane says, uh, we're going to Palm Springs in March. You want to join us? I'm not sure if she's referencing the uh, the, the conversation we had earlier in the about hour. About you taking more or, vacations? Or maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think it is definitely about Diane, taking, yes. taking more vacations, putting right. it on the calendar. March mm-hmm. It's a good time. I know somebody's having a birthday in March. Is who? <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. How old are you going to be? 51. 51. Uh-huh. So you're, so you are right now 50. That is correct. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Found a fun little article, and you're going to tell me if this is all true. Oh. So what 50-year-olds know that 20-year-olds often don't. Oh, well, we don't have enough time in this segment. Hopefully, there's a whole <laughs> lot that 50-year-olds know that 20-year-olds right. haven't figured out right. yet. Let's Absolutely. Hope, let's hope that in mm-hmm. those 30 years, we learned something. Well, let's see uh, mm-hmm. what the list is, and I'll see if I can agree or not. Uh, well, some... Uh, it's actually written by a 50-year-old gal oh, named a woman, a woman okay. yes, named Phil Bean. Um, Her name is Phil? Well, it's Phyllis. It's short oh, for Phyllis because okay. it's the F or P, P-H-Y-L. Oh, she goes by Phil. Oh, I see. Okay. But I think right. it's short for Phyllis. All right. Um, and she says, so some lessons that she's learned during her half century on this planet. Half a century. Uh, and you know, why do you have to put the emphasis on that syllable? I don't know. I don't either. Because I forgot to this like there. for the last eleven months. I All forgot right. to mention that learn. Eric I'm is a half a something. century, right? Uh she says, I know myself better than anyone else, and I don't let anyone else's opinions control what I do, what I wear, what I say. She says other people's opinions are suggestions. Just take them or leave them. Do you feel that at the age of twenty, Eric, that you you allowed what other people thought of you to dictate. I actually believe that that is exactly the opposite. Oh, really? At 20, I didn't give a flying rip mm. what people thought. Mm. And I just did what I, what I do. Okay. At 50, I have to ask you for marching orders every day. Oh. How, what do I do? How should I dress? What should I, how do I feel about that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, There's something very dysfunctional about our relationship. We all know that yeah, already. 17 right? years working together. Yeah. That's what happens. Uh, she right. says, um, uh, she says everyone else is just as worried and insecure as you are. Some people just hide it better. It doesn't mean they're any smarter or better than you. So do you feel at 50, you're more aware that everybody else has the same thing, but at 20, you thought you were the only one that was worried and insecure? Again, and that's I, a weird way to word I, again, that. Again, I don't know that at 20, I felt uh, worried or insecure about anything. anything. I could, I ruled the world. I, yeah. you know, I mean, I literally, yeah. I was the youngest of this, that, and the other, and it was all in leadership. Well, and, clearly, Phyllis has forgotten uh, in her 30 years what it was like to be 20. A, it's all right. <laughs> uh, but, but today, um, I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't feel insecure. Um, and, and so. And I don't, you don't worry about everybody else feeling that either. I know. I, these no. are not thoughts that we have, right? Okay. So next, next where your question. energy goes, your, right, where your attention goes, energy flows. All right. How about this? And this is kind of on that same line. She says, okay. fitting in, quote unquote, fitting in is highly overrated. She says, great leaders didn't get where they are by following the crowd. I agree. And I felt like a great leader at 20, 21 years old. And so I wasn't following the crowd. I agree with that statement. All right. Here's one. Don't stay in a bad relationship, even if it's quote unquote for the kids. Phil, she says oftentimes, where were you? Kids thrive outside the bounds of a toxic relationship. So twenty years ago, Phil, you were you were staying in a bad relationship. I did for the kids. I did. I think that happens. I think everybody does. Right. Yeah. All right. Next one. It's just stuff. So we're actually learning uh, from a fifty-year-old. She says, "What fifty-year-olds know that twenty-year-olds often don't." And since Eric's the resident fifty-year-old in the room, hmm. he will be fifty-one next month. I thought we would just test him and see if this was yeah, such a true. long way to go. I know go I ahead. do. Uh, she says it's just stuff. Sure, stuff gets broken sometimes by people you love, and that's annoying. But your stuff can re- be replaced. Totally agree with that. Stuff is never as important as important as those you love. So. I totally agree with that, Phil. You you, you yeah, like that one? I think yeah. I'm far less. You know what? I I have to tell you though. I had um, I, I over a year ago. I got. I bought a, a red convertible. It's, it's true. It's adorable, 
beautiful little car. So it's and I've a never, sexy ride. I've never been a car person. I, Ever. I like I don't really even know what cars like which car is what. Like I'm not a car person. I scraped my brand new truck a week after buying it, and Angel's like, "Don't worry about it. It's just a scrape. It doesn't drive differently. You're fine. It's just a car. Yeah, right? it's just a car. How so, do you feel about your car? So, but I love my convertible. Right, absolutely love it. But I'm at a I'm at a stoplight one day. And there's a homeless gentleman in the in the median with his sign, right? Yeah. And I pull up, and he's like, "Oh, that's a really nice car." And he's like, <laughs> "Oogling over my car." Well, here's a man who doesn't have, I'm guessing, a whole lot of worldly possessions. Sure. So I'm trying to be sensitive to his situation. Yeah. And so he's like asking me something about it, and he said, "You know what? It's it's just a car, right? It's just yeah. a vehicle." And then he was mad at me. Oh, he's like, just a car, you like ungrateful. Don't you I, right? know what I would feel right? if I had and that car? And I was car? like, I was trying yeah. to be sensitive. Yeah, thank this goodness. Is where the, you say thank you. The light turned green and off yeah. I went. Um, another thing that you learn at 50 that you probably didn't know uh, at 20, you're probably a lot smarter than you're giving yourself credit for. Mm, at 20? Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're probably a lot smarter, smarter than, than you think you are. Right? She says, also, don't judge. And she has a whole long little piece here about judging. She mm-hmm. says, you don't know all the facts. That lady speeding down the road with her toddler unbuckled may be panicked heading for the hospital for an emergency you can't see. Right. That big kid having a tantrum in the store may be on the autism spectrum and ha- is having a meltdown, which the mom or father hates just as much as you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, you know, that chubby person in the bikini may have already lost 100 pounds so far. I'm pretty darn proud of what she's done. Rock that, that, don't, that bikini. Yeah. Don't shame people for smoking, for drinking, for being overweight. She says we all have our faults. And our own bad habits. And, and she's right. Like, not one of us is without, without a bad habit, without a fault, is, you know, absolutely perfect. And she's right. When you see other people, like, you don't know their story. So true. I so believe true. that one. I agree with that one. That's a good one. She says, never lose your inner child. Dance, sing, skip. Though she says, tell poop jokes, but not to strangers, though. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Go down the slide, bounce at the bouncy houses, uh, especially if the ad- attendant says that adults are welcome. When you're 20, people often think you're too old to do those things. But when a 50-something does them, it's charming. It's charming. Is Phil single? And finally, she says, life is better after 50. And I like that. Mm-hmm. You know what? Life is, uh, is, is fine wherever you are. Uh, I'm enjoying my 50s. It's, uh, it's different. It's, it's really different, but uh, yeah, it's good. Angel and I will be back after the top of the hour news. This is the Experience Bros Radio Network. <laughs> 